Hey guys, welcome back to the workshop. It's great to have you here. In today's video, we're gonna to continue to work on this hydraulic forging press that we started last week. Okay, so I just wanna give you guys a quick overview of the progress I made last week. So we started off by going to a steel supplier and picking up a pretty decent sized I-beam and a bunch of three quarter inch plate um, to build the frame. And I also used some tubing that I had left over to make some feet but these are gonna change because I realized I need to raise the press up about a foot uh, just because it's gonna be too low to work under because the cylinder is so big. Um, and basically today what we need to do is make a guide system for the cylinder and also make the bottom support for the bottom die. So I have a pretty big piece of tubing right here that I got at the scrap yard. So we're gonna use that and weld some more of the plate on top of it. So this is the track system that I'm making that's going to run along the I-beam to keep the die on track. So what I did was I took this quarter inch plate right here and I welded it to the back of these bigger three quarter inch plates that are going to hold the dies. Um, and then these quarter inch plates right here that I drilled matching holes in are going to be the spacers because the flange of the I-beam is a quarter inch thick. So I need spacers and then there's going to be another section of quarter inch plate that's going to go on top of this to sandwich it around the I-beam.
So I've pretty much done everything I can to the press until I get the hydraulic system. Yesterday I welded this big piece of 4x4 inch square tubing onto the I-beam, then also welded this big plate um, that's going to support the bottom die. It's the same thickness as this top one right here. And also I made this guide system that's going to run along the I-beam. It's basically uh, three pieces of quarter inch plate bolted together so it can wrap around the flange of the I-beam. Um, and I just put some grease on there that I had laying around just to make it uh, a little bit smoother. And then today what I did was I welded this frame because I realized that the press would be way too low. So I had to raise it about a foot up in the air and we're just barely clearing the top garage door, but I think it's going to be okay. So I just want to thank you guys for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. You can press the subscribe button right here or you can watch another one of my videos right over here.